Hi there, I'm Joe Bartlett and thanks for watching Relive the Dream. In this video we have another really special hunt with the Outdoor Dream Foundation and my dad at J Bar Z Outfitters. Hey guys, my name is Jackson. What are we doing? Hopefully hunting for antelope. Awesome, and where are you from? Uh, Honey Pass, South Carolina. South Carolina, and how did you end up here in Wyoming? How did you get here? Two airplanes. Two airplanes. And we're with the Outdoor Dream Foundation, right? Yep. Nice job. Nice job. Good job, buddy. Woo! I was a little bit nervous. Woo, but you did it. How'd that feel? Feel good? Yeah. Awesome. This is my first time at Wyoming, and I'm having a great time so far. What are you feeling? I think I need uh, my mama a hug to give me a hug. <laughs> yep. So how old are you, Jackson? Fourteen. Awesome. Awesome. Have you ever hunted before? Do you do, do you like to hunt? No, but uh. This is your first hunt. Yeah. The Outdoor Dream Foundation is an organization that takes kids who are facing illness and other health challenges on their dream hunting and fishing trips. They sent Jackson to Wyoming with a rifle and scope that could be connected to a phone so that my dad could see exactly where Jackson was aiming and help him be more confident of a great shot. That was better than the first one. You're ready to go. Really? You are. Should we go chase antelope? Wait, do you think that shot would be a dead antelope? Yes. Yes, I do. How do you feel after you shot the rifle a couple times? Oh my gosh. You feel good? Yeah. All right, do you think you're gonna get an antelope? Oh yeah. I think so too. It's gonna be awesome. Our goal was to hopefully be able to set up Jackson on the table and lead sled within range of a decent buck. But we knew that that was going to be easier said than done. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> so cool. The first time we got set up on a buck was almost perfect. But as soon as Jackson was ready to shoot, the buck had wandered just outside of the distance that we were hoping to shoot. Getting to about even my... What is right that? at 300. Yeah. So. Getting to be where I would call it. Yep, yep. So they're not too worried about us. So what can happen is over there is the road that we come in on and they're sort of moving that way. So we can go back and look for that one out in the field and then go back up here and see where these guys are at because they're heading towards that big they, road. They might be pretty close to there, so. We had several setups go the same way, but later that afternoon, that exact same buck from the first setup was bedded down about 120 yards off a fence line. And we knew that if we could get set up without him getting up, we might just have him. Once we were all set up, it was just a matter of waiting for the buck to stand up. Yep, you got him. He's done. Yes! You got him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You got him! <laughs> All done! Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice job! Nice job! How was that? That was awesome! Holy cow! Can you believe that? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Good job. Yay! Good job. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, Boy. man. <laughs> Boy, you did it. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, honey. Oh. Flex your muscles. <laughs> Wait, do you want to hear my names for them? Sure. I got to get over there. You can stay right there. <laughs> what? Stay right there. Go ahead. Record this. Okay, I'm recording. Because it's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Flippy and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got nice prongs. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. It means if you <laughs> No way. <laughs> no. You shot a four horned antelope. So super rare, but sometimes they'll have these little kind of stub got ones on the horns. back. Okay. That's incredible. That's, that's yeah. the second one I've seen in my life. Wow. <laughs> Ivory tips. Super cool. No way. Right there. Where did we talk about aiming? Right there. Is that where I showed you on the pictures? Yeah. You did perfect. Perfect. That is a very, very nice goat, buddy. That's not a goat. Well, we call them speed goats because they <laughs> run so fast. Not like your goats at home. <laughs> really nice dark face, not much orange on his nose. It's really a really pretty, pretty animal. Young man, that is way nicer than my very first antelope. Oh. Way nicer. What? A hundred years ago. What kind did you shoot? Way smaller, <laughs> not as pretty, not no, as big body. No. Did, did you shoot a two horned or a four horned? <laughs> two. <laughs> two horned. Lame. I know, right? <laughs> that was my first ever hunt in Wyoming. That's awesome. And your first ever hunt anywhere, right? Yeah. That was your first big game animal. Yeah. What did you think about it? Wow. That was crazy. That was crazy. What was your favorite part of it? Seeing the, the four horns or whatever. Oh yeah, yep. That was your favorite part? Yeah. That was pretty cool, huh? Thank you guys. Well, thank you for coming. It was awesome to have you here. What would you tell other kids that want to come hunt antelope? Uh, uh, oh gosh. Do you have any advice for them? Just get that bullet where it needs to be. That's perfect. It's a special thing to be able to partner with the Outdoor Dream Foundation to make these trips happen. Not only is it about a special animal that brings about a lot of joy, it's also about kids like Jackson that will treasure these memories for a lifetime.